As if we thought Fiona Onasanya MP couldn't stoop any lower, she's now considering challenging her speeding ticket conviction. Fiona Onasanya MP is the former Labour MP who now sits as an independent because she refuses to step down. Now, I recently made a video about this. In fact, we started a whole campaign about it. Fiona must go. .co.uk because I'm calling on this MP to step down and give the people of Peterborough an opportunity to elect a new MP, one that hasn't been convicted of perverting the course of justice. It's kind of the bare minimum you want to expect from your elected representative. And if you'd like to help that campaign, by the way, you can go to fionamustgo.co.uk, sign the petition and share it with all your mates. That would be really helpful. I think this woman has shown total contempt for our democratic system. Uh, and after she even compared herself to Jesus in a letter to other MPs following her conviction uh, and even releasing a video where she appears to be pretending to snort cocaine, amazing, she's still not considering stepping down and now she's even considering challenging her conviction. But here's the thing, I think she's guilty and I'm, well, I'm, I'm sure she is. Uh, and I think this is just a ploy to make people think that she's innocent. I mean, this woman wants to keep her job. She wants the Labour Party to take her back and she still wants to be the first black prime minister. Something tells me that's not going to happen. This woman is totally delusional. So, of course, she's considering challenging this conviction to try and make herself look innocent. The Guardian reported on this story and they said, An MP found guilty of repeatedly lying to avoid a speeding ticket has until Wednesday afternoon to appeal against her conviction, a decision that will be closely watched by Labour and the Conservatives. Fiona Onasanya, a former Labour whip who sits in the Commons as an independent, has been considering whether to try to overturn last month's Old Bailey verdict for perverting the course of justice, sources said. Associates say she was planning to attend Parliament on Tuesday night to vote against Theresa May's deal for leaving the European Union. Onasanya has pledged to continue as an MP for as long as possible, despite being urged by her former Labour colleagues and constituents to stand down. The date for her sentencing has yet to be decided, the Old Bailey said. If she appeals, it would mean any attempt to remove her from office would be suspended until after the legal process is completed. See, this is all just a big ploy for her to keep her job a little bit longer. If she appeals, it means that any attempt to remove her from office would be suspended until after that legal process is completed. She wants to hang on to this very highly paid job for as long as possible. And after her conviction, it's unlikely she'll find a job paying anywhere near as well as the one she has now. Now, I don't wish joblessness on anybody at all. But I don't think a woman like this should have the honour and the privilege of working in Parliament. I think she's a disgrace, and if you do too, then please go to fionamustgo.co.uk and help me by sharing the petition and signing the petition yourself. Please help us put pressure on Fiona Onasanya to realise that, in fact, the people of Peterborough deserve a real voice in Parliament, and not one from, well, I could say a lot of things about her, but not one from a woman who at least has a conviction for perverting the course of justice. The people of Peterborough deserve better. Fiona must go. Please sign the petition at fionamustgo.co.uk. Thank you. Let's spread the word that Fiona must go across Peterborough through a targeted Facebook ad campaign. If you'd like to help us cover those costs and remind the people of Peterborough that they really deserve a voice in Westminster, please donate at fionamustgo.co.uk.